Up in the turn four wall again, but the green flag is out and we are underway. So Walker coming out of turns four, he will cross the strike. So the fastest laps, David Brandon a 13.193, Jason Walker a 14.818 for their qualifying efforts. So we're gonna get ready for our next two drivers to come out onto the speedway. 24 super late models. We had one late arrival out of Mark Dotson from Mississippi. Four states are representing this evening. Tennessee, Georgia, Kentucky, and Mississippi. But the next driver out out of Cleveland, Tennessee in the J.O. Long Machine, Longhorn Chassis, Clements Power up under the hood, the winner at the North Alabama Speedway. It'll be John Owen being the man coming up behind him. The veteran, the legend himself out of the great state of Corbin, Kentucky. It's gonna be Terry English in the 33 machine. So that first lap going down for Owen be a 13-170. Terry English. New quick time, 12, 9, 3, 8, 4. Terry English on his first go around. John Owen be a 13, 0, 9, 7. He goes second quick. Everybody's in the infield. Everybody's in the infield. 12, 9, 4. 12, 9, 4 for Terry English on his second go around. 17, 0, 13. 17, 0, 13. Next machine out of. Spring Hill, Tennessee, the 2016 Dirt on Dirt.com cruising with the champions, Rook of the Year, and the Bruce Bilt XR1 Rocket, Lake City. It'll be Brad Skinner, old midnight, gonna lay it down and coming up behind him out of Chevyville, Tennessee, in the number 13 Club 29 race car is gonna be Scott Cook. So Skinner. Bringing the heat, all four, can the man do it? How about that? Quick time for him, a 12, 8, 2, 1 on lap number one. 12, 8, 7, 5 for Scott Cook, good lap for him. 12, 8, 8, 4 for Skinner. 12, 8, 4, 9 for Scott Cook. So those times are picking up and getting really, really fast. Next machine out out of Pulaski, Tennessee, in the 20 machine, sitting fifth in the Southern All-Stars. Point, excuse me, sitting third in the Southern All-Star Series points and third in the Rick Hill of Year chase. It'll be Ray Mechelheine and coming up behind him, making his second start for Southern All -Star, third start for Southern All-Stars this season. It'll be Caleb Ashby in the 61 machine. For Ray Mechelheine, staying high, wide, and handsome, drifting off turns four. 12-9-7-0 for Michael Heine on lap number one. 13-3-3-0 for Caleb Ashby on his first go around. Michael Heine at 13-1-6-4 for lap number two and Ashby driving off hard. Here he comes. 13-2-4-5 for Caleb Ashby. Four cars left in group number one before we go into group two. Next machine coming out. And the number 25 out of Mount Pleasant, Tennessee. Six in Southern All-Star Series points, fifth in the Rick of the Year chase. It'll be JoJo, Joseph Faulkner, and coming up behind him, making his first Southern All-Star appearance this season in the 49. It'll be Jeff Walker. So, oh, Joseph Faulkner, the 25 redhead, bringing it out of four. 13, four, nine, six for Faulkner on lap one. 13, eight, nine, two for Jeff Walker. So Faulkner trying to float his way out of four after a dismal finish last week. 13, three, two, four for Faulkner. And a 13, nine, nine, one for Jeff Falk, Jeff Walker. Next. 
Next machine out in the K28 machine. It'll be Kevin Lovern and to his inside. Coming out in the M31 out of Morristown, Tennessee. Former champion on the SDRS series. It's gonna be Tony the Tiger Morris. So the K28 mash it down out of turn four. Loud pedal. He crosses the strike. 13307 on lap one for Lobber. Tony Morris clicks in a good lap with a 13-4-1-3. Lovern comes in faster on lap two with a 13-2-3-2. Tony Morris, a 13-7-0-6. So the fastest in group number one, it'll be midnight, Brad Skinner. What a fast time of 12, 8 2 1. Scott Cook, second quick. Terry English, third quick. Ray McElhaney, fourth quick. And John Owenby will be the top five cars that will transfer into the first five rows of the feature and avoid the PPM product B mains or hooligan races. That'll be coming up later on tonight. J8 Machine, always a top five contender with the Southern All Stars when he show up. It's going to be the young man, Jaden Frame, in the J8 Machine and coming up behind him. It's the Lakeland Laser in the 54 of Dangerous Dan Dacus. Dacus all the way up on that high side. We're going to see what he gets going here as he starts his time trials. But Jaden Frame stand way up by that wall, not afraid to let that thing eat off board. He comes across. He lays down a 13-1-5-0 on lap number one. Dake is going to follow up behind him. 13-2-4-9 for the Lakeland Laser. Thirteen one eight three for Jaden Frame on lap number two. Thirteen three four seven for Dane Dakis on his second go round. Next machine out out of Corbin, Kentucky, in the number ninety six machine. The last winner here at Duck River Raceway Park when the Southern All Stars were in town. It's going to be the White Knight of Tanner English and coming up behind him. And the G9 machine is going to be Larry Greer. This is Larry's second start with us for the 2018 campaign, but Tanner English putting it up high. Can he make some work? Great lap for Tanner English, a 12.605. Overall fast qualifier right now. Larry Greer comes across with a 13.727. Here comes English. Can he pick it up? Not quite a 13.092 for English, so English on top of the board very early in a fast lap and Larry Greer comes across 13851 for him wow oh wow oh wow Tanner English picking up the pace in group two the next machine out in the J27 machine out of Fayetteville Tennessee the Southern All-Star Series points leader in coming out and he rolls out of four he'll take the green and the man coming up behind him his second start to SAS this sit Season is going to be Mitch Thornton. So Jay Scott coming off a career high last weekend. Can he do something tonight? A 13 1 1 2 for Jay Scott on lap one. 14 2 3 2 on lap one for Mitch Thornton. 12 9 9 7 for Jay Scott on his second go round. 13 8 4 9 for Mitch Thornton on his second go round. So Larry Greer holds the time that is sitting on the bubble for those that will be able to start in the top 10 tonight with a 13 7 2 7. So here we go, next machine out out of Ottawa, Tennessee. Four time Southern All Star Series champion in the Hickman Manufacturing sponsored machine is going to be the hustler Riley Hickman and coming up behind him in the master built race car in the number 98 out of Hull Wall, Tennessee, sitting six in the Southern All Star Series points. It's easy E of Eric Hickerson. So Riley Hickman clocks in with a 13 391 and Hickerson answers back with a 13 247 for him. Can Hickman make some dig all four? And he does. Picks it up to a 13 248 for Hickman as he moves into the fifth spot. And Hickerson, fourth quick overall with a 13 274 on lap two. Next machine out picked up a career high win at the I 75 Speedway last month. 
It's Daniel Miller out of Sweetwater, Tennessee in the 16 and the man that's coming up behind him. And the number one is Jeremy Taylor. Miller getting it all down the back stretch as he takes a little tap on the outside wall, but it's not gonna slow him down. He comes out of four, drag it across. He clocks in with a 13, five, nine, six. And here comes Jeremy Taylor. Can he answer up with a faster lap? No, he doesn't with a 14, eight, three, zero. Oh. Daniel Miller way up there, not afraid to brush it. He comes back across 13, three, six, one for Miller on lap number two. And Jeremy Taylor come across the strike. 14393 for Jeremy Taylor. Final two quali final two qualifiers of the night. And the number 18 machine in the GPS Enterprises Black Diamond Race Car Machine is going to be David Sievers and the man coming up behind him out of the great state of Mississippi, second in the Southern All-Star Series points. It'll be Mark Dotson in the orange 32. Wow, Sieber is making it eat up top. What does he have? A 13.091 that puts him up in there. Third quick for him and Dotson, a 13.927 for him. Sieber is not holding back. He comes back across. 13.207 on lap two. Dotson trying it out one more time. Here he comes. 14.050 on lap two. So Tanner English will be the overall fast qualifier and the fastest in group two. Jay Scott second quick, David Sievers third quick, fourth quick is Jaden Frame, and Eric Hickerson will be the fifth fastest qualifier, sending Riley Hickman on the pole for PP and Products B main number two. Also, Tanner English will win the overall fast qualifier award presented by Knowles Racing Parts of Rome, Georgia and receive a $100 voucher towards any purchase from those race parts. So thank you everyone for getting through that qualifying. And we're gonna move over to two bear qualifying, opening ceremonies and heat races for all of our divisions.